Alright, let's talk about emotional intelligence for men. Today I wanted to break down understanding yourself deeply, you feel me? And I'll speak for myself. Me growing up, it was, I felt like I was definitely in tune with my emotions. Especially when you growing up, I grew up around mostly females. I did have like my uncle, but my pops wasn't around and stuff like that. And my grandfather died when I was younger. I didn't really have too many role models in my life at all, honestly, especially male figures. So I was definitely a lot more in tune with my emotions. You feel me? I didn't understand a lot of stuff. So it was all over the place, but it wasn't like a situation where I didn't really know how to make out what I was feeling. A boy, you know, as at that age and being told like to suppress my emotions, basically, I, I could understand how you could create these blockages and not be able to get to get to understanding yourself or understanding yourself on a deeper level. You feel me? Like I was told, don't stop crying. That's for girls. Stop acting like that. You're a boy. You're, you're supposed to be a man. Boys don't do that. Men don't do that. You want to be a crybaby for the rest of your life. Like just all those things. And I didn't, as a child, what I realized now being an adult is that in those moments, you don't know you're doing it, but all of that is going into your subconscious. You get what I'm saying? Also, consciously, you're trying to not do that as well, but, and I was even told, like, yo, you keep crying, I'm gonna hit you, and I'm pretty sure this is not anything a lot of people probably haven't gone through themselves, you feel me? Like, I know what I'm saying is not groundbreaking, but it's just, like, that's very toxic, you get what I'm saying? Especially for a young male, because then you grow up, and you start getting to a point where you're suppressing your emotions, and you don't realize that you're doing that subconsciously when you're younger, or even in some moments, it might be conscious, like, oh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to get hit but you don't realize that toll that that's taken as you get older and how you interact with other people. You feel me? Like it got to a point for me, I was very rageful. You feel me? Like I, I was angry. And all, back then I didn't really understand why I was angry. You get what I'm saying? Like I was never that kid that cared about having my parents approve or like, oh, my, my dad's not there. My mom's not really there. Like that never bothered me because I was already doing a lot. Of, I was a very independent child already and I was doing a lot for myself always so that wasn't really the basis of that i definitely had resentment towards my mom in that relationship we had but it wasn't like a bulk of that you feel me i just didn't understand that and now i know it's because i was holding all those emotions in you get what i'm saying i didn't know how to communicate that effectively when i would go through something it was always like i was ready to fight my whole elementary school i honestly don't know how to get expelled i was fighting almost every day bro you could tell me like, yo, your pencil is stupid. And I swear to you, I was throwing hands like, no, like I wasn't thinking like there was no such thing as a consequence to me. It was just in my head. It's you. It's, it ain't never going to be me. It's going to be you. And it's going to be on site every time you say my pencil is stupid, bro. You feel me? Like, that's just how it was. You feel me? And then I was fortunate to get in this program called peer mediation. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like it was a program where like, like you low key had a, like a therapist. And shout, I don't even remember that guy, but to this day, I could see his face in my head. And shout out to him, bro, because he helped me out a lot. He was the first person I could really speak to. And he was hella cool, bro. He had glasses, a white dude at that, too, in the hood. But he, he was hella cool, and he helped me understand what consequences are. From that day forward, I started to think about my consequences. And that shifted my whole personality, you feel me? Because then I went from being super aggressive to really passive, and I had to get back into finding that balance too because i didn't want to just be extremely passive when shit you feel me like it got to be a balance so that was when i started going deep within myself and you know understanding like every action there's going to be a reaction you feel me like or every action comes with you know that energy is going to come back to you type shit i had my first situation where something happened with some kids and i was separating it i had a baseball bat that's to keep me on track <laughs> And I could have killed, I could have essentially killed these kids, bro. Like, I was the only one. They wasn't bigger than me or nothing like that. And I feel like the old version of me, I wouldn't have thought of nothing. I would have just been swinging, boom, boom. They would have either got really hurt or I could have took their life. You feel me? That was the first time in that moment when it was happening, I was thinking about oh, everything that could have happened. You get what I'm saying? Like, all the consequences, everything that could have gone wrong, everything that could have gone right. Like, if I did this, what am I going to feel? And that's when I truly start, like, started to become aware. And I really started to get deep into thinking. You get what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all this story because I know what it's like as a male to suppress your emotions. And I know that what that can do for you. And once you start getting older, it just gets worse, bro. Because once you start getting to a teen, you feel me? That could look like a lot of different things. Especially if you're in school, you're going to college. You might just 
have just started drinking, you feel me? Like, it could spiral off into all these different tangents, you feel me? Like, you could, it could just increase your chance of, like, hurting yourself or hurting somebody else, you get what I'm saying? And it don't just have to be physically, it could be mentally, you feel me? It could be emotionally, spiritually, like, it could just be a breakdown. Because that saying, hurt people, hurt people, that shit is accurate, bro. And that, that form, that takes different forms and looks different for everybody. But if you don't take the time to think about those consequences and really isolate yourself from women, you get what I'm saying? Like, take a break, you feel me? And just really work on yourself. Because I know how, I know how it is, bro. Especially when you're young, you, especially, and especially if you got certain type of group of people around you that they, their focus is like getting girls and getting money. I know how that whole culture is with men. Like, men, a lot of the times men like to, the men that they're friends more than women, you get what I'm saying? I think most of the time that's the case. Don't get caught up in that, bro. It's not a it's not a competition, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want you to succeed just like you want me to succeed. And that's how it should be. And if you don't got people like that in your life, then you need to reevaluate your circle. Because your circle is going to either enhance you, you feel me? Like, bring the best out of you is going to bring the worst out of you. You feel me? And you got to be in tune with that. You got to know and really be like, yo, is this good for me to be doing this, this, and that? Is this person good for me? What do I feel every time I'm around this person? The type of conversations when I try to tell them my desires or things I want to do. How do they make me feel? You get what I'm saying? Just really start to ask yourself this and understand yourself on a fundamental level. Because the more you get in tune with yourself, the more you start to unpack those emotions. And that's something you need to do, especially if you plan on being in a relationship with somebody. You feel me? Even if you don't and you just want to get money. That's going to help you get money. You feel me? Like, you got to be able to effectively communicate with people. Not everything's going to go right. You're not going to have a an amazing business deal 20 out of 20 times. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to meet that. To be able to handle those situations, you got to be able to handle yourself. You feel me? You got to have that self-respect for yourself, that self-love, that, that knowing of thyself. Like, you got to really be in tune. You got to know what triggers you. And you got to be, like, you got to really be on your ass about that, bro. Like, you got to have an unfiltered conversation with your eyes. Like, you got to be like, yo, I know when people say this, this I, I tend to get triggered. Don't say they make me feel away because it's not them. Everybody's a reflection of yourself. So understand that if you're feeling something, it's because of something you already innately feel. And I'll give you an example. If somebody be like, yo, you ugly, bro, and you feel a type of way, that's because you already embody that feeling of ugly. You feel me? Whatever that looks like for you whether it's based on societal standards or just something you're dealing with internal, that's something that you got to work on. And understand that what happened, it's not that they made you feel like that. You are triggered by something you feel. And once you start to see things like that, then you really have breakthroughs. Because if you live this story of this person keeps making me feel like that or these people make me feel like that, then you're going to be caught in the same cycle because you're not taking accountability of your own feelings. You feel me? You're not taking accountability of who you are as a person and the, the lack of self-development you're doing on yourself. You get what I'm saying? You're not holding yourself accountable. To be able to step out of that, you have to acknowledge like, yo, this person, you feel me? You know what? This is something I feel within myself. Let me ask myself why. You feel me? And there's a whole bunch of stuff that helps with that meditation, journaling. If you want to see a video in depth on that, just let me know. But the easiest way is just ask yourself why and go down that rabbit hole until you found out why. And I'll give you an example. A couple days ago, I was struggling with fear. You feel me? Like for like three days, cause I'm actually achieving a lot of the stuff. You know, I'm manifesting a lot of the stuff I want to in my life. And it's just like, damn, like you feel me? It's lit, but it's also a sense of fear, cause you feel me? I'm like in a transitional period. It's like I'm getting, I'm finally, I wouldn't say escaping, but I'm finally making peace with that old version of me and understanding that I am this person that I I desire to be. That's a challenge in itself, but point I'm saying that to you is I had to do the work. I had to ask myself. I was avoiding it too. I was on social media and it just kept getting stronger and stronger. I'm like, yo, I got to sit with myself. So I turned off everything and I just started asking myself, why? Why do you feel like this? You feel me? Oh, because is it imposter syndrome? Okay, what is it, what is it about that? Um, because you feel, you feel like you can't sustain it. You feel me? And then you go deeper and deeper and then, bro, it goes away. As soon as you get to the root of the problem, it goes away, bro. And it doesn't come back, bro. And don't get me wrong, we all... We gonna have, you gonna have your days, but when you unpack the root of the problem, it helps you assess anything coming into your mind in the future. The point is, I know how it is for us, and I know it could be hard to be able to... I definitely want to tackle those type of topics on my channel because I feel like there's not enough of us 
having these conversations to be able to give back to the youth or even people older than us, whoever might be going through these type of situations where they're not fully able to understand their emotions because I know how important that is, especially in our community. Father figures as it should be, even though it's getting better. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe. I do videos like this all the time on this channel and on my TikTok every day, whereas YouTube might be more of a weekly basis. But if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.